What's up guys, this is Chase Pure Shots here, and uh, this is actually the past Chase Pure Shots, this isn't the real Chase Pure Shots because uh, I'm recording this video on Monday, uh, what was it, uh, September 2nd, so uh, hello people of the future, I'm doing my commentary right now, and that's my friend A. Alvarez, he just joined the lobby, I'm doing my commentary right now, he said hi guys, check him out. Adam on PSN. But uh yeah, today guys I have my gameplay here. It is I think it's called Sharpshooter. Yeah, Sharpshooter. I never really played it before. I think this is my second game. I think I try to jump shot him and it switches my gun. What a pain. This is uh Call of Duty Logic, Call of Duty Timing. And this kid's playing Ring on the Rosie with me and I get raped. But um this is a pretty good gameplay and um Today I'm going to be talking about the game types in COD Ghosts. Now, sadly, when they revealed it, I didn't hear them saying anything about Hardpoint, and I'm guessing their new game uh, mode, Cranked, is going to take over from it. But, um, it was kind of disappointing, because uh, I really enjoyed Hardpoint. It took a lot of skill. The only problem with it is the spawns made too much of a difference. Basically, if you could get, um... You could rotate early enough and get good spawns on some of the maps. It was pretty much over for your team, which is kind of disappointing. But, um, you know, that's how it played out. Now, I'm kind of excited for Cranked. I don't know how exactly it's going to play out, but in Cranked, basically, you have, once you kill someone, you have 30 seconds to get another kill or else you explode. Kind of ironic, but, um, yeah, I think it could be a good gameplay. It just... All the things in uh, Call of Duty's always seem great, and all of them are great if people play the game right. But the thing is, people exploit the game and use, I, I, don't, I don't know how to say it in a more scientific way, but they use cheap things to ruin the game. But this pissed me it's a three shot kill. Everything in this game built sounded great when it was first coming out. I was like, oh yeah, skill based matchmaking. But then that turned out kind of bad. You know, there's good things about this game, but just basically what happens is people abuse the system, and it ends up destroying things like Modern Warfare 2. Noob 2 wouldn't have been that like bad of a thing, but people would use one man army and danger close to make it overpowered, which became a big problem. And you can kind of say the same for sniping and go quick scope, but I think if it's a game where it actually takes skill. Such as Black Ops 1, COD 4, I'd even say Modern Warfare 2 is a little bit better compared to MW3 and Black Ops 2. Quick scoping is more of a tool, not a play style. I know you can just quick scope, but it should be a play style. Uh, it should not be a play style. But moving on from that, as you can see, guys, here, this, I'm pretty close right here. But uh, towards the end here, I just I just take off the lead. As you see, I don't use the M27 a lot. All my friends told me to use it in competitive when I'm uh, anchoring for hard points, but, um, you know, I screw up a lot. You know, I, I've been trying out the Scar H. But this gun's actually really good, very underrated. The iron sights are beautiful. I used to love this game before it got patched. I mean, love this, this gun before it got patched because it had a little bit more power and uh, you could aim down sights a little bit faster and there's even less recoil, which is pretty ridiculous. But yeah, I'm really excited for Congress, and I'm a little bit sad that well, Hardpoint isn't coming back. Now CTF is going to be a little bit different. I, I don't know what it's called now, but it's the same thing as CTF, except now as soon as you go to where the flag is, or I guess now you call it a portal, you automatically teleport back to your base, which changes things up a lot. I think it's going to be more interesting, but the only sad thing about this is I feel it might turn into a camp fest. Like, it sounds great on paper, but when people start test driving it, if all they have to do is touch your flag, it's going to be going out to play back a lot more. So, I don't know, tell me what you guys think about this. This commentary is coming to an end, and uh, tomorrow we're going to be talking about party games and uh, special ops type things in Call of Duty Ghosts. Technically, it's still tonight when I make the next video, but uh, it'll be tomorrow's commentary for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy that. And as you can see right here, I'm raping it up over here. And, um, they can't hear you, Razor, so you can say whatever. 
Oh, well, not that I wanted to say something, but uh, you know, maybe to oh, just joking. Forget what I said there. This is common case. Uh, <laughs> coming to an end. As always, guys, this has been Trace Pure Shots. Signing out. Hey, stay beautiful, guys.